Hello, it's Alison and here I am on Facebook Live. Hi, how are you? Um, today I've been challenged by Ray in uh, Rank Makers to do a Facebook Live on um, what I'm going to do before the new year starts to get ready for the new year. So I thought I'd look some ideas up because I know what I'm going to be doing and I thought I'd implement them and integrate them into the list that I could find to share with you. So um, I've found 10 things that we should be doing before the year end. And I thought I'd share that this evening on Facebook Live with you. So the very first thing is on the list is financial reality check. So I, I don't know about you, but um, I used to be very good at keeping my finances in strict order and making sure everything was neat and tidy and what have you. But I'm afraid in the last since I've moved here, unfortunately, I've um, really let that go. So. It's something that I've had on my mind for quite a while to get back into check and get that sorted out. So I went out and I bought some software and I've just started the last couple of days been um, sorting things out so that I can get a bit more of a financial reality check on, on our finances and get that sorted out. So so I thought that was a good one to start off with. To, to This is something that we can get ready now so that in 2020, I thought, you know, if I have these three weeks or so before the, the new year, I can get um, sorted out and um, be ready for the new year. So so that was the first thing. And um, I thought that was quite a good one to think about now, getting that sorted out so that come January, I'll know exactly how this software works. That's something that I was thinking too. So that was the first one, getting taking a financial reality check on 2018, looking back and seeing um, how where your money's gone and whether you've got any outstanding subscriptions that you're paying for, things like that, that you might not actually be using. And I know um, I've been terrible with that as well. You know, certain things in the past, I've paid for a gym membership and not gone. I mean, these things are so, so silly, aren't they? That when you've got that money going out and if you're not keeping track of it, it just se seems to go and you don't, you're not uh, aware of, of how much money you're wasting. So it's quite a good idea at this time of year to get that that one sorted out I think so that's certainly what I'm going to be doing um, number two is to add into your budget if you have a budget um, but maybe to have a budget and to add in a budget line um, to save up to three months or to start saving an emergency fund and they suggest to get a three month emergency fund so um, an amount of money that basically covers you for three months of your basic bills so um, that's something to add into your budget for the year and that'll be something that takes you forward um, very well into the new year. And I know um, the government's talking about having a shutdown. I mean, all of these things, these uh, government government employees are looking at that sort of thing and they talking about it being quite a rough year in 2020 for all sorts of reasons. So it might be quite a good idea to have an emergency fund for for an emergency, obviously. So that was number two. Uh, number three for tax purposes is to make a donation to charity. So if you've got, like I have, a pile of things ready to go to charity and I've just not got around to having it picked up or taking it to Goodwill or Salvation Army, um, that's something I need to get sorted out. Um, and it's a good idea to get that dealt with before the end of the year um, in order to boost your tax deductions. Um, certainly that works in the US and it doesn't work in the UK and I don't know... I don't think it does in Australia either. Um, but anyway, it certainly does here in the US. So it's something certainly worth con considering. Um, having a quick uh, scout around for things that are no longer serving you, no longer useful to you, to get those down to a charity shop to get your um, receipt for your donation and making sure that you include that in your tax preparation as well. So that's number three. Number four is start getting your receipts ready for your uh, getting your taxes ready. So there are certain things you can get ready now. Obviously, you won't have had certain forms coming in, but um, you can get um, your receipts together, certainly. And if you run, if you have a, a your own business, um, you can certainly get your receipts quite organised and get your mileage sorted out and this sort of thing, can't you? And if you've been to any conferences and getting all that business deductions sorted out you can have that in a fairly structured way ready for getting your taxes done at the end of the year so that's um something we've got two weeks before christmas we've got another week between christmas and new year you've got three weeks to get some of that sorted out before the new year and get a head start on that so that's number four number five is if you're a couponer 
to get rid of all those coupons that have expired. And that's the beauty, isn't it, of changing the year, <laughs> going from 19 to 20. To That's a nice easy one to check the um, expiry dates and what have you. So get rid of the old ones, use them up if you can. Um, it's nothing worse is there than going into the shop and saying, Here's my, here are my coupons, and they hand them all back saying they've expired. So um, get that sorted out um, and um, clear those out. Um, number six is it's a great time for connection at this time of year, isn't it? We've, as I say, we've got three weeks, two weeks before Christmas tomorrow. Um, and I know that I'll be doing my round robin letter tonight, um, getting that ready, a review of the gardeners. <laughs> so I'll be getting that. And it's just so lovely to add in little private, you know, when you're writing your Christmas cards and writing those little connection notes in your cards and on the letters, isn't it? I love that. That's the best time of, of this this, the best part of this year is that connection with people and um, and really and I've already had a, a, some letters in already and it's just so lovely reading everybody's reviews of the year and catching up so this is the best part of this three weeks of catching up with people and connecting um, because all the rest of the year we seem to be so very busy with other things so it's a, a nice time to make that time to wish people Happy Christmas, Happy New Year, uh, Happy Holidays, etc. So that's um, number six. Uh, number seven, um, it's a good idea maybe to, talking about expiry dates, uh, maybe looking into sell-by dates, maybe planning all the meals that you're going to be doing for the next three weeks, for the end of the year, around what you already have in your pantry. So um, using up stuff in your freezer, using up stuff in your pantry um, and this is one that I really do need to do because I've been piling stuff up in there so this is something that I will definitely be doing and if you are too let me know because I'd love to know some good recipes on pantry staples um, so um, that's certainly something I'll be doing because it's just a great way to start the new year with a, a clearer cupboard a clearer freezer and to start again um, and get rid of all those things that have expired, Get use them up for the 2019 sell-by dates, uh, ready for getting those lovely new, the new stuff in for 2020. So, and it uh, kind of saves at this time of year, particularly when we've got so much money going out for presents and Christmas and what have you, it's such a, a good way to save a little bit of money at this time as well, isn't it? By using up what we already have. So I, I thought that was quite a good idea I read earlier. So I thought I'll definitely be in implementing that. So that's number seven. Number eight, if you haven't had a dental appointment this year, it is suggested that you get one, make an appointment. Um, I tend to do my appointments every six months. Um, and I, I think that's a, a nice, easy way to do it. But I know some people get a bit scared of the dentist and put it off and put it off. It's time at this time of year, you might be quite lucky to get an appointment quite quickly because people just don't want to be interested in that sort of thing at this time of year. So if you haven't had an appointment this year, it might be a good idea to make an appointment to see the dentist. And number, uh, that might not have been number nine. Oh, well, it was number eight. Number nine, and doctor. So certainly in the US, um, most of us have um, some sort of insurance that covers us for one medical a year, a physical or what have you. So uh, it might be a good idea if you haven't had that this year as well. Um, to get that sorted out as well, get your appointments in. And then the last one is, if you already know what your New Year's resolutions are for the year, why not start them now? Why do we have to start them on the first of the year when everybody else is doing it and there's a big hype? Um, it might be a good idea, this is what I was reading earlier, um, it might be a good idea to have a head start on that and then we've got three weeks as I say and sometimes you can have a habit in that time, you could have caused yourself and created your own habits so a lot of us think about well, the financial things that I was talking about earlier maybe a healthy habit you know maybe trying to eat a bit more healthily um, maybe trying to be um, be more fit moving a bit more um, that sort of idea so why not start those activities now and then by January 1st, when everybody's all excited and hyped up, you have got yourself into some sort of rhythm of actually doing that already and getting a head start on that activity and that resolution and actually getting started on um, a healthier, a better way of life for the new year. 
So, um, and I thought that was quite an interesting idea to get a head start on that as well. So those were the 10 ideas that um, I came up with. Some of those I definitely need myself, absolutely. Um, and I've got five more healthy tips that you can implement now um, to get you ready for 2020 as well. So if you'd like those tips, I'm happy to share those. Reach out to me, send me a PM or whatever, and I will get that information out to you. So thank you very much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate you hopping on to Facebook and seeing and um, watching this with me. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks very much. Bye bye now.